Hi, I'm Tanya Hope, the Public Relations Manager for the San Antonio International Airport. Today I'm joined with Don Miano. He is the Deputy Assistant Federal Security Director for the Transportation Security Administration, or TSA as we like to call it. Today we're talking about some helpful travel tips. What items are not allowed on a plane? Okay, so there's quite a few items that are prohibited to be on a plane, and we have various categories. Uh, some of the most common items we see are weapons, guns, stun guns, those are all prohibited. Uh, any type of sharp items like a knives, razor blades, those are also prohibited on, uh, to take onto an aircraft. Liquids, gels, and aerosols that are over 3.4 ounces are prohibited to be taken on an aircraft, as well as bludgeoning items, things like nunchucks, uh, throwing stars, any martial arts type weapons, those are all uh, prohibited. Other items that you might not think about, golf clubs, ski poles, hiking poles, Hockey sticks, those are also all prohibited because we consider those a bludgeoning item. What about removal of shoes? Is everybody required to remove their shoes? So if you're a uh, standard passenger, yes. All passengers have to remove their shoes for inspection. If you are a member of the TSA PreCheck, you're allowed to keep your shoes on as well as your light jackets, keep your computers inside your bags, and keep your liquids and gels that are 311 compliant inside your bag as well. What should I wear when I'm traveling? We recommend that travelers be comfortable when they're coming through security. Don't wear lots of layers of clothes. Uh, wear things that uh, are easy to remove, like the shoes, if you have slip-on slip, slip -on shoes. Something that's a little bit easier. Tendency here in Texas, a lot of people like to wear boots. Um, it's a little bit harder to remove those. Uh, they are going to alarm the, the machines, so you must move them uh, again before you go through. What about if you have health issues and you're traveling with medicine? Are you required to tell the TSA agent that you have medicine? Do you have to put that out? Not necessarily required, but we highly recommend, especially if it's a liquid type medicine and it's going to exceed our 3.4 ounces, please separate that from your baggage, uh, put it in a separate bin, let our officer, divesting officer know you have it. That way we can do special checks on it and it is allowed to come through. We just got this call last week. A mother called um, because she was traveling internationally with her three-year-old and she wanted to know if her three-year-old needed a passport. Yes, so when traveling internationally, all passengers, regardless of age, even newborns, need to have a passport. So definitely a three-year-old would have to have a passport if they're traveling internationally. What about for nursing mothers, lactating mothers, and they want to carry milk or dry ice? Is that accessible or is that permissible? It is permissible. So lactating mothers can bring milk through the checkpoint. Uh, we recommend that, uh, again, they separate that, let us know in advance in, in, in a bin. There's some checks that we have to do on it, but they can bring it through. They can also bring some dry ice up to 5.5 pounds as well as solid uh, gel packs or frozen ice. It must be in a frozen state, it can't be in a semi-frozen or liquid state, and they can bring it through. The airport also offers lactating rooms here, so uh, feel free to use those rooms when you're coming through the airport. A mother called because her child was traveling alone. Is there any special information that you need to give the TSA agent? Uh, we first recommend you check with the airline, make sure that you allow, let them know that there is a minor that's traveling by themselves. You can get a gate pass um, to go to the departure gate with the child. And if the child's coming in and you're receiving them at the other end, you can get a, a gate pass to also go down to the gate so when they get off the plane, you can meet them there. That's all done through the airline though. They, children under 18, no requirement for identification. So that's when we look for the parent to, to provide that positive identification for them. What if you're traveling with a holiday gift or a birthday gift? Can that item be wrapped? We, there's no prohibition against wrapping it, but we highly discourage bringing a wrap package to the airport. So we highly recommend they either wrap it at their destination or put it in a, a gift bag or a gift box that makes it a little bit easier to bring it through. What about if you're traveling with a laptop or an iPad or an iPod? Okay, so recently, last year, the rules changed as far as electronic items. Now any electronic item larger than a cell phone must be removed from the carry-on and placed in the bin separate by itself for inspection. This helps us declutter the carry-on bags and make sure that the item is, is safe and secure to go onto the aircraft. Can you explain in detail what Ask TSA is? Sure, as I mentioned earlier, Ask TSA is one of our platforms, our social media, where you can do a tweet or uh, you can use Facebook to ask a question in a live environment. We have uh, TSA representatives available 365 days a year that will answer the question. All you have to do is at ASKTSA Ask your question and they'll get a, a response in a very quick manner. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. My pleasure.